G'day everyone, I'm Ben and this is Counterfeit Christianity. Glad to be here this morning. Yeah, I just thought I'd uh, come on and make this video this morning. What I wrote it down, this is what I wrote down. So I'll read it first and then I guess I'll just take the my thoughts from that. I'll just read it so that I can know where I'm coming from to begin with. Jesus did not come to enact Christianity. The religion of Christianity attached itself to Jesus. The demons that control Christianity attached themselves to Jesus so they could hijack people's souls away from a relationship with Jesus and the living God. What do I mean? So let's just have a little bit of a chat. I've talked about this idea many times, but I don't know why, but it came up into my mind again the other day probably some conversations with people that I have. I've been having conversations about that yesterday, this specific topic yesterday with a couple of mates. A lot of people who are resigned to the fact that, or for some reason are resigned to the fact that they need to be Christians still. And it's really difficult for a lot of people to like give things up. That's been part of my journey of realizing I'm not a Christian and I don't want to be a Christian because of what the Christians are. <laughs> if they weren't the ones that, like I said before, attach themselves to Christianity, that's what, that's what has actually happened. A religion has attached themselves to Jesus because he didn't, he doesn't want people to be become Christians. He came to show us what it's like to have a relationship with his daddy, what it's like to be with our daddy, with the creator of the world, with the living God. That's why he came. He didn't come for any other reason. He didn't come to enact Christianity. <laughs> he came around he came to the world, had a relationship with his daddy and said, this is how it works. This is how life is meant to be. This is how it was designed. We'd come through all of these, like we have the Old Testament. We can look at that and see the way that people understood God. There are a few people in there that understood him and recognized what it was like to be a man or woman with God. But they were all living inside of their cultures. It's so difficult because of all of the cultural indoctrination that we receive. And especially if you're Christian, it's way harder. And I've talked before that God doesn't care what, what, you, what name you give him or what name you call him. He doesn't care at all. And so people always jumping out and saying, oh, this is God's name, blah, blah, blah. You know, it means absolutely nothing. God doesn't care. He's absolutely glad to be with us no matter what. He will come to you wherever you are and he will be with you wherever you are. And then once you join on, to the journey with him you can just flow and everything good will come out of that so it's really difficult for us who have come through a religion or come out of a religion or are in a religion and we have questions it's really really difficult because we have all these things that are on us and we don't recognize when things that other people say are god and we have just gone along with because we didn't know any better it soaks into our soul and so we actually find it really really difficult to be separated from systems that's why that's what they're here for they're designed to tie us up like i said at the beginning the demons actually control christianity satan controls christianity and the god of christianity is not the living god because the living god doesn't care who you are doesn't care what you've done doesn't care about anything he wants to be with you and that's what matters everyone will say oh yes he does you have to change you just, if, if this video gets any views you'll see that oh yeah you you, ha you can't just say that that's a cop out it's like that's actually not it's just, it just means that you have no understanding of what it's like to be with the living god you have all these other people's perceptions that have been given to everybody through the bible actually everything that people believe about god have come through the bible because people believe the bible is god they can't look at it and say, this is just people who are on the way with him. We can't actually understand what people are talking about because it's in their context, in their culture, in their time and in their perception as well. And that's the interesting part because we all perceive things differently. Everybody is always trying to like lump us together and say, perceive the world in this specific way and then you'll be okay. That's what every system and every person and everyone is basically trying to do. If you can be authentic and look at yourself and look at your understanding and beliefs and the things that you think are real, it all, or usually comes back to that. If people thought the way that I thought, then everyone would be okay. But it's actually massively different than that. If we could all be okay with everybody thinking what they want to think, being who they want to be, doing what they want to do, and somehow be connected with the creator, then everything would be okay. It's impossible for us to be the same because we're also very, very different. And the things that have happened to us are so very, very different. We can't line each, all of us up into a row and then say, this is what you are. 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 It doesn't work. It can't do that. That's the, that's the reason why it's so amazing the way that God connects with us. He connects with us as we are. There's no other thing in this world that can do that. Actually, there are, but there are other things that can do that. The demons do that as well. They know which way to get you. They know how to get you. They know how to take you out at the knees. They usually do it when you're most vulnerable. They do it to children a lot. And people who are not 
able to recognize what's happening. That's the way they do it. They know us very well as well, but they know us in a different way. They know us through watching us and coercing us and putting us into situations like that. But God knows us absolutely. The living God, the creator, our daddy knows us absolutely. And he is the only one that can come in and connect with us in the way that we need to be connected to. <laughs> Christianity has, and I think from the very beginning, as soon as you begin and start a system, I've noticed that happening in some other parts of my life, that some things that were good are now not because that we're trying with our human minds to make things easily accessible for everybody. The simplest, most easy thing to do is show people what a relationship with God looks like. It's okay to be yourself. He will meet you where you are. Reach out to him and be with him. Say, daddy, I want to be with you. Say, God, whatever you want to call him, it doesn't matter. Just be with him and say, I want to be with you. Show me what's good. Show me what's next. Don't let these other people and other systems pull you down. As soon as we try and start another system that can be passed on, that can be replicated, then it's a system of man straight away. That's what happened in the beginning. People were like, oh, Jesus knew God and all those people who were with him and recognized what was like and what he was doing to show us relationship with the, with the living God, with his daddy, with our daddy. And then they built a system around it. And I think it was intentionally evil because the demons got involved with it straight away. Satan got involved with it straight away, brought the Catholics into it. And there we go. It's straight into hell. Anything that somebody else is telling you that's not be with God, ask him on a personal level to be with you. Say, show me what's good on a personal level, intimate relationship with our creator. If it's something other than that, if they're saying go through these steps, then they're leading you down the wrong path. They're liars because they have other intentions for you. You don't need anything else. You don't need a simpler way. There's not a five step plan that can get you this. This is just be with him. Look at yourself, say, why am I feeling these things? And then talk to God about it. It's very, very simple. That's how we stay free in this world. We don't get tied up in other systems of man. Christianity is just a massive system of man and the demons that has been going for a very long time. And people say, oh, what about the other religions? And I'm like, yeah, all of them are the same. They're all exactly the same. No matter what system you're caught up in, it's all bullshit because it's another person telling you how to live your life. And God doesn't even do that. He, tell, he'll, he will show you what's good and you can choose to be with him or not. That's all that there is. Like he will say, here's a good journey. Be with me in this. And you can say yes or no. You can say, I'll figure it out on my own. Or you can say, yeah, let's go. I'll just flow with you. That's the way that he has created us as human beings. We're not people. We're not persons. We're not another person. We're human beings. We're designed to be in relationship. That is the meaning of life. It's very simple, but we won't accept that for some reason. We all think that it's not good enough. We want to be led. We want to have a teacher. We want to have a master, another human master. Even God doesn't treat us that way. He doesn't treat us like slaves. He, he's not our master. He's our daddy. It's very, very difficult to understand because not many of us have had real daddies. Not many of us have had good dads because we've all been corrupted. And we all look to these other things. We look to politics. We look to church. We look to ideologies. We look to a thing and then we learn about that and speak their words and then we become that. And that is just a, a, a very human thing to do because we all want relationship. We all want true understanding. We want someone else to understand us. We want someone else to be glad to be with us no matter what. But it's very, very difficult. Even people say who say that they want that usually don't. When the shit hits the fan, they usually don't. And so it's okay to be free. It's okay to step aside from certain things and not consider yourself something except for a human being in this world. I just want to be with him. So like always, this is my understanding. I don't know shit. I really do appreciate you guys. Thanks so much. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I've got a Discord channel in the description. Have a look at that if you want to have a conversation and we'll go in there and do that from now on. Anyone who jump, wants to jump on and have a chat, do it. It'll be cool. We're just here for authentic conversation. And yeah, it's really awesome. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.